So in about one hour, we have about 60 kids coming from Davis Marytown School and High School. Did I get that right, Stefan? Davis Aerospace and Maritime High School. That, okay, I can't say that. <laughs> Long story short, they are building these guys. This is actually called the FT Sparrow. It's one of the most popular builds for our uh, STEM class, FT STEM. They're coming over to basically do some glide tests, but one thing we want to do is surprise them with a piggyback. If you guys know, we love piggybacks. So we designed something pretty special, and Dave and Michael built it yesterday. It's right here. Basically, this is a large version of the Sparrow, but it has two motors, and the best part of all, it has a piggyback mechanism right on top. So basically when they come out here do their glide test, we'll be able to take it up another level and surprise them and launch it from altitude. So how much time do we have? Um, something like an hour, I think. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully this works. If it does, this is going to be really cool. They were good. It's just the win. It's good. Yeah, that was a downwind launch. So. Yeah, yeah, we're downwind. Oh, it's sure. fantastic. Whoa. Yeah. So I think we need to brace that top. See how the plane Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the, the small sparrow is kind of yeah. like leaning back and forth and shifting its weight. Yep. But that's okay. Yeah, when, when the when the sparrow's not banking, it's perfect. Are you ready, Michael? Whoa! Three, two, one, release. Oh, that's oh, perfect! Wow, it came right off of there. That's beautiful. I could actually feel the difference of lift when, when he uh, released it. I'm holding the back elevator now. Oh, wow, that thing's just soaring up there. Is it? Oh, geez, it is. I shouldn't have gone up that high. <laughs> I have a feeling we might be walking for a little while. That's like a tank. Yeah, you're on the ground, and I don't think the Sparrow's lost any altitude oh yet. Oh my golly. Well, really? Way past you. Oh, tree. Are you good? Ooh, that's cool. All right. And it's down. All right. That was so, a good glide. Yeah, it's perfect. So I think what we need to do on this guy here is I want to go ahead and get myself more elevator control. So I have a little bit more authority there, but. That's really close yeah, to maybe I'll look at that uh, launch me mechanism and just try to stiffen it up so that way hopefully the uh, gliders don't move around as much. I love it. Nothing a little hot can fix. Perfect. All right, so we're putting the final touches on our Monster Twin Sparrow here. And one thing that you guys probably see us do a lot, and if you're in the hobby, you have to do a lot, is something called servo centering. Uh, this is our servo centering tool, and basically what it does is it assures that your servos are centered while you're building the airplane. Now this tool is awesome, but it also requires a little bit of knowledge to hook it up properly, and if you do it wrong, it can damage it. Now a few months back, you may remember when our good friend, the Swede, Dave Vindestel, and Chad Capper came by to basically meet with us, fly some airplanes, and have some fun. What we didn't tell you was during that time, we were sharing a common vision on what we would love to see in the ultimate servo tester. At the end of the day, we want a servo centering tool that can easily be plugged in any which way will automatically power on without the extra need of a battery or wires, and also something that can test out our motor direction too. Chad and Dave had some amazing ideas and they came down to us with basically a breadboard design. From that design being tested, we now have the Gerber files and we're ready to send that off to our good friends at PCBWay. PCBWay is gonna take those files and send us back a PCB board that we then can get to Chad and then ultimately, he can make work to see how this final vision will come to reality. If you guys have an idea that you want to make a reality, PCB Way is a great resource, whether it's 3D printing, injection molding, PCB, and so much more. Make sure to check them out in the link below. We use them all the time when we have to have something made quickly and efficiently and done right. And if you want to learn more about Hackmake Mod, please check down in the link below. Chad and Dave are doing some really cool things with electronics. What do you think about this, Devin? It's awesome. So we got uh, Davis uh, Aerospace and Maritime High School here today. Um, as I think Josh mentioned, we got about 40, 50 kids, something like that. We're gonna be chucking some gliders. We're gonna be buddy boxing. We're gonna be uh, dropping airplanes from really high. We're gonna be touring the facilities and hopefully just giving these kids a little opportunity to see what life is like in, in the aerospace industry, um, but also in the RC industry and what we do here uh, to hopefully inspire them to continue to live on their dreams as well. So um, we're really looking forward to it, not only doing that, but also meeting all the kids. Um, it's always fun to meet new people, so I'm excited. So what are you guys doing? All right, so, so they're gonna be doing their glide tests on ready board runway here. And to help us measure so it doesn't take as long, we put hash marks every 10 feet. I'll tell you what, if anyone gets beyond this point, that's pretty incredible. Basically, what they're required to do is they gotta build our planes, they gotta fly them, and then they gotta make three pretty extreme modifications to try to make them more stable. Those modifications will decide on whether the plane's gonna fly well or fly bad. <laughs> All right, so what do you think, Dave? 
Oh, this is a lot of fun. Just <laughs> just seeing kids' imaginations and yeah. the, the wing designs and stuff they come up with, uh, it's incredible. It's really cool. And a lot of them are flying a lot further than we would have thought. Uh, it's really impressive to see what they came up with and how they attacked flight. Um, now, after they're done with measuring their distance here, we got a special surprise for them. Yeah, um, well, uh, which which surprise though? A couple surprises, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we have a, a giant sparrow. Yep. That, that we have set up with a release mechanism, so we can put most of their planes on top, release them up real high, and they can see how they glide and you know more characteristics than just throwing them from the ground. Yeah, a lot of the kids, um, it, it's very difficult to throw a plane well. Um, we can take these up to altitude. We can help them a little bit with center of gravity, trimming it out, giving them the best shot at an epic glide. That's going to be fun. Also, we are going to be doing a buddy box uh, with them with the new FT Mini Explorer and the new Pocket Radio, which is really cool because it's real simple. And we get to kind of test out the Mini Explorer before it's released. So this is going to be cool. Now, we're not only excited about teaching these young men and women how to fly, but we are also excited to treat them like family because we believe they are. And there's no better time to do this because we just took delivery on our new Valencia Monza carbon fiber theater seat. And you know us, we love to stress test everything. So we had the kids come up and make themselves at home right here at HQ as they enjoyed their lunch. And we really put these through the test. Now in our HQ, we have a conference room and we have our main area where we come up with ideas. But frankly, all of our meetings are now right here. And something that really makes the Valencia carbon fiber seating really unique is the carbon fiber sides that are sophisticated, durable, and look incredible. And we weren't worried about the durability test because all the seating surfaces are covered with the premium matte semi-aniline 15,000 Napa leather. These chairs are not only built for durability and function, but they also are built for style. With RGB lighting with seven different colors to choose from, seat memory, power lumbar, headrest, and even reclining. And the hidden armrests are fantastic for me to shove all sorts of crazy things in. Now we love all of our Valencia products here at HQ, and whether you're using it to really create a wonderful environment at the place where you work, or you want the ultimate theater experience, check out the link below to learn more about the Valencia Monza carbon fiber theater seating and get one in your own house or in your office. So obviously you can see the room is now empty. The kids are heading back out to grab their airplanes. I'm gonna grab my mini Explorer and teach some kids how to fly. All right, let's see here. Hopefully, yep, this one should do it. All right, um, Noah, can yeah. you uh, toss this thing? I'll toss it. Thank you. So friends, we want to just take a moment to thank each and every one of you. Uh, we would not be here today without you and the vision of what Edgewater is, where we can open up to the community, to schools, to outreach ministries, and to so much more has really become a reality. Uh, if you guys ever want to use this location uh, for education, for improving people's lives, just know that we want to work with you. And also, with our FT STEM program, we have over 10,000 kids currently doing programs like this across the country and even across the world. If you want to know more information about that, check down in the link below because we want to grow the world of flight. We want to build relationships along the way and we want to inspire a lot of kids like what you see behind us. What a special. So Dave, how's glider towing going? It's going really well. Um, airplanes are doing really good considering uh, what some of them look like from their earlier uh, tossed or test glides, I guess would be what it's called. But they're, they're really solid planes. I'm, I'm surprised. It must be Italian. <laughs> yeah, me and him. Two out of three in our group bar. You guys go try to catch it? Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna get it? We gotta go all the way up that hill. Oh, give me um give me a frame. I'm definitely get yeah, I don't know. All right, so these kids rock. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They had a lot of creative ideas, and most of them worked quite well. They did. They did. Once you launched them up to altitude, it was amazing. Yeah, I think we need to redesign our uh, plane for towing, though. Yes. The Sparrow doesn't have the controls I think we need for towing, but it worked. That's we got it done. Well, the cool thing about this Sparrow, this Sparrow is going to actually go home with the students here, so they can continue to experiment. They can on the wall. What a special memory. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. So guys, if you want to learn more about our FC STEM program, make sure you check the link down below. 
Huge shout out to the school here for coming out and making our day. It was real special. Yeah, yeah, huge shout out to Davis High School. They did a great job and they inspire a lot of kids. So They're a blast. All right, yeah. don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.